Well, I'm proud of what he did. About, you know, telling about the hospital, I'm proud of it. His whole the family ain't real proud because that's what they all do for a living. My son-in-law, my grandsons, my other son and all of them. But Johnny just did what he thought was best. And then come and tell him he got hit by some guy sneaking up behind him, hitting him in the head. And I told him if he ever goes out there again by himself, you know, you don't go out there by yourself. There's people assaulting you in that. Mm -hmm. So it scared me. I told him he wasn't allowed to go by himself to take somebody with him. I don't care who it was. At least if somebody's with you, they're not going to hurt you. Mm -hmm. And then when he called me, he told me about cutting the brakes and <clears throat> stuff like that. And then getting attacked at the casino and, you know, getting hit at the casino that one time. And then he went in. And I sent him on his birthday. It was his birthday and I gave him 20 bucks. He was broke. Let's go out with your friends for your birthday. He walked in there. He don't hardly ever drink. Walked in there, hadn't even drank, hadn't even talked to nobody, and the security guards attack him and stuff and beat on him. Get him arrested. And he's been through too much. So yeah, it worries me all the time what they might do to him. I mean, they could just walk up, somebody just shoot him any time. You know, when he went to Washington, just lately I'm thinking to myself, somebody in the crowd just blowing him away. You know, just some stupid, somebody that was against this, you know, and him up there speaking and that. I think, man, somebody could have just shot him just up there speaking. So every time then he goes different places to speak, it worries me all the time that some stupid crazy might, person might do something to him. And breach people is what I'm thinking. And just to shut him up because Embridge is the only one that you want to hurt him. Because they don't, they want him talking. They don't want him doing something with this stuff. And so I'm always afraid they're gonna hurt him. So it just worries me him doing stuff when he leaves and stuff. But I worry about him all the time anyway. He's my oldest, my baby. Oh, she really got mad. And she called and she says you're not her, her not her brother no more because they're in Texas doing the oil. And they went up there to do it, and this girl had herself chained to something, and she had Johnny's sweatshirt on. <laughs> and she, oh, she was so mad when it was on Facebook and all that. She's, that's not my brother no more. He makes me so mad. He's rooted my family. <laughs> but then Christmas coming. Guess what? Johnny, you coming to Christmas or not? <laughs> you know, here's your presents. <laughs> you know, so they all love, love him, but... You know, they got to keep their own side, too, because that's what they do for a living. And that's what he did for a living until he spoke up. Now, none of them had guts enough to speak up, but he did. Um, Courtney, so since you started dating me, what do you feel about what I am doing and um, the Embridge oil spill? You're a nurse. I mean, you were right there with the doctor, the VA doctor. Um, I've been a nurse for about a year. I met John um, and about six weeks ago he started getting dizzy. Um, at first I just kind of blew it off because I thought maybe he was just dehydrated, not drinking enough water. Um, he kind of over schedules himself sometimes. He really is passionate about what he does and um, he spends many, many hours of the week doing this. Um, so then he continued to get dizzy. So. Finally, five weeks later, I forced him to go to the, the VA and get checked out. Um, one of the doctors there who incidentally has a master's degree in environmental health. And so we said the two chemical, two main chemicals in, in the oil is benzene and toluene, and which John was probably breathing in when he was cleaning up the spill. And when he was getting in it, he was probably mixing up some of the chemicals and still breathing it in. And so we're worried that this is finally starting to affect him and um, he's had a, a CT scan, he's had um, an ultrasound on his kidneys, he's had um, several urine tests which they found blood in his urine. He's also had an ultrasound on his carotid arteries and we're about to go do an MRI um, of his brain. I'm worried that he might have a, a brain tumor or something like that. What is HelpA.org? 
honor environment, love people, protect America. And maybe if this gets big enough like Greenpeace or 350.org or Sierra Club, maybe I'll change that to all. Because I want to stop all tar sands and all fracking. Those are two of the most hazardous substances or, or methods of uh, trying to get um, resources that we really don't need. Um, and that's polluting our water. And, and basically, Helper.org is fighting for our water. It's investigating the truth. It's exposing the truth with video proof. And we're finding tumors in the fish now in the Kalamazoo River three years after the spill, and fish are full of oil. That's what I'm fighting for because they're being told they can eat those fish. And, and obviously, if they do, they're going to get cancer 10 years down the road, and they're going to die. And um, I don't care about the death threats. I don't care about me getting sick down the road. I already know I'm going to lose 15, 20 years of my life if I'm not assassinated before then because of the chemicals I've been in from proving this. But I didn't do this for me. This isn't about me. This isn't about John Bolenbaugh. This is about you and you and you, all of you that are here today. This is about all of you. And that's what I'm fighting for. That's why I'm risking my life for this.